Next up, next up on the stage is former minister, the Honorable Dale Butler. Dale Butler! As his, as his slogan says, keep the Butler in the house. What goes the menace? What goes the menace? Fish cakes, of course. And now we know why Minister Mark Bean's five bags of groceries were so expensive. They were full of three bags of fish cakes. In Somerset, the Premier has asked them to bring home the bacon, but in Warwick, she's asked them to bring home the Fish cakes, now you're with me. Thank you to our premier, ministers, MPs, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank you all for holding on. I talked about holding on at the Ruth Seaton James meeting. As you know, I did not leave constituency 25. I held on because I'm standing strong. And you know that I'm up against one of Bermuda's most well-known lawyers. You can't afford a lawyer. You have to keep the butler in the house. That's right. Well, Kokomo Salters is here. You, young man, stand up. Stand up, Kokomo. Kokomo, stand up. Are you going to vote? And stay standing. Alex Scott, stand up. Stand up. Stay up. Stay up. Alex Scott, stand up. Stand up. Are you going to vote? Oh, yes. Ronaldo Bean, stand up. Are you going to vote? And they're saying the young people of Bermuda are not going to vote? This is proof they're going to vote. Our young people are going to vote. That's right. Hamilton yesterday I asked a hundred people are you gonna vote and they only two said no and at the end of the conversation one said maybe that is your challenge to ask them all are you gonna vote PLP we need you and so I challenge you tonight earlier this year I was in Ghana and after about two or three weeks, the guy discovered that I was a politician. And he said, yeah, all you politicians are the same. You make promises. What has you, are you a member of the government or the opposition? I said, I'm a member of the government. He says, yeah, what have you accomplished? I said, this whole bag is full of accomplishments. He said, how many parties are in your country? I said, well, you know, we have two opposition parties. He says, what's in that bag? I said, I don't know, it ain't much. <laughs> but it's disheveled. It's disheveled. But I said, there is something. There is something in the two oppositions. One was called the UBP. We don't know what's in that bag, but there is something. The OBA. <laughs> accomplishments. So I said, what's in the LBA bag? I don't see anything in that bag. I don't see anything at all. Madam Premier and members, we have a track record of performance since 1963. We have a track record of accomplishments as the government since 1998. Our track record of creative ideas that has distanced us from the rest. It is a track record that includes the young, 
I gave you an example tonight. They're going to vote. And the old. Tonight we pause to reflect once again on our long list of accomplishments. This booklet here, History Will Record, showed you your record that you were not asleep. You were working for the people of Bermuda. When families struggled with payments for their young children, what did this government do? Implement daycare. When we needed funding for culture, what did this government do? Set up a cultural legacy fund. When our youth were experiencing great difficulties, what did this government do? Start the Mirrors program. Participation in international events, CARIFPA, corporate games, and soon to come, the island games. We have stood strong for Bermudians from 1963 to this date. Some people, however, we know are sitting. Some people are lost. Some people are sleeping. But we, the leaders of this country and of this party, have stood strong. Some are even hiding. But we are standing strong. So I encourage you to stand and vote solidly PLP. Vote early PLP. I challenge you to ask everyone to vote PLP. Don't take anyone for granted. Vote solidly PLP. Because we have made Bermuda so much more. Yeah.